Hey, what's up guys? It's Andrew and today I'm going to be showing you how to install Obsidian Menu Bar. Now what this does is it replaces your menu bar on OBS Mavericks to look like the menu bar that's in dark mode that is included with OBS Yosemite. Now to install this, you're going to first want to download the zip that's linked in the description below in the full guide. And after you've downloaded that zip, go ahead and extract it and open it up. Now from there you're going to want to first install Obsidian Menu Bar with that script. Press OK to proceed. Enter your password. After that you get the OK message. Now you're all set. The next thing you're going to want to do is move this white UI server dot menu to a location that's going to be safe. I usually keep it in my documents folder because I don't usually delete anything that's in there. And after you do that open up system preferences. Now you can already see that the black menu bar applied but the icons are all messed up and that's our adding this white UI server dot menu to our login items because by doing that it'll run it at login and you won't have to worry about those messed up icons it will replace them with white versions. So what you have to do is go to your documents folder select that white UI server dot menu add it and make sure that it's added to your list and then that's all set. You can also want to go back to your system preferences, go to desktop and screensaver and make sure translucent menu bar is unchecked. You're going to also want to go back to general and make sure that LCD font smoothing is unchecked. That will just make your font in the menu bar look a lot better than stock. After you got that, you're pretty much all done. All you have to do is log out and then log back in. Now that you've logged back in, you can see that some of your menu bar icons aren't really acting right. You see here that my time keeps blinking. To fix that, all you have to do is open date and time preferences and uncheck the box next to flash the time separators. Now when you get to that, you can see your time's back to normal. Now other third party icons like this one for Alfred aren't going to change because Obsidian menu bar does not come with a script to change those. But you could change them manually inside the folder that you downloaded, you can see under installer content that you have an applications folder as well. And in that folder, you have different icons for different apps. In this case, I'm going to be changing the icon for Alfred. So to change that, open up your apps folder. Right click on the app that you want to change click show package contents, go to contents, go to resources, and now copy over the files that are in the application folder into the resource folder. Authenticate that by putting in your password and replace them. After that's done, you're going to have to restart the app or you could just restart your computer completely. Alright guys, now that you log back in, you can see that the Alfred icon has changed and that will also work with any other third party app that you want to switch up. But if you want to revert back to stock, you can just switch on and switch off like you could with regular dark mode in Yosemite. What you have to do is go back to the folder that you downloaded earlier, double tap the icon to restore default menu bar, tap OK, enter your password. And after that's finished, go to System Preferences, go to User and Groups, and under Login Items, be sure to remove the white UI server, and then restore your computer and you'll be all set. Alright guys, going to do it for this video. Be sure to check out the full guide linked in the description. And like always, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Have a good one guys.